A new Pokemon Go update is live featuring new shinies, Pokemon, and research you're not gonna wanna miss. Welcome to the Psychic Spectacular. Now, hopping into the research, which is the big part of the event, we've got some good ones, make 10 curveball throws, and you'll really wanna complete this, and the Psychic Spectacular research, make all these curveball throws, plus some other really big ones to focus on. Before we do that, I wanted to do this Mega Gardevoir raid because We've got a free raid pass, and Mega Gardevoir is actually super meta relevant. Mega Gardevoir is a top five psychic type in Pokemon Go, making it super useful and also one of the better fairy type Pokemon in the game too. And because it's a dual type Mega, it means that you'll get big bonuses if you get it to max level. You'll get big bonuses when catching psychic and fairy type Pokemon, so anytime it's a double type Mega, it's a really, really good Mega to have and to have leveled up. Well, the best counters to use against Mega Gardevoir when taking it down include Meteor, Mash, Bullet Punch, Metagross, also Nihiligo, Giratina, Goldango, Melmetal, Dialga, any Steel type and or Ghost type Pokemon will work great against it. And as you can see, we just tore through this thing. It's easier to take down and it could give you a shiny, dang it. But there's some curveball throws. Boom, all right, caught. Well, now that that's done, let's use our daily incense to get a feel of what these new spawns look like because honestly, they are great. There are a ton of very rare and shiny Pokemon in the wild right now. And we've got to get these curveballs anyways to finish off this research, which again, really, really good stuff. So daily incense down, let's do it. And to start off with us today, it's Solosis, which actually is the brand new shiny in Pokemon Go that came out during this event. Solosis and its evolution. Whatever it's, uh, whatever it's called, but the shiny looks like this. So it's not, well, it's not the shiniest shiny that ever did shine, but it's new. And the next one, oh, Solosis, Ebra, Routes, Egg. Oh my God, no, no, oh, no, no. Okay, I'll show what just happened, but I don't know why I did it, but I stopped the recording to restart a new recording just to make the editing easier. And the Galarian Articuno, which we've been looking for for months now, spawned. And I didn't click it, and the moment my screen recording started, it despawned. I, this video has broken me. Oh my god. <laughs> I lost the Galarian Articuno. Dude, I've been looking for that for a different video for three months now, I think? Maybe four months? Um, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that is the worst thing that's happened all year. Okay, let's see what else we got on this incense. We got a seal. Goth. Jim. Egg. Egg. Seal. Med. Egg. Egg. Elgium. Abba. Flareon. Okay, that's kind of cool. Solosis. Wurmple. Tyrant. Slowpoke. Fortress. Man, the spawns are kind of crazy today, especially considering we also got a bird that ran. And that's it, my friends. The daily incense. 23 Pokemon and the Galarian Articuno that got away. But it wasn't all tragedy, because I was able to complete a ton of field research that required curveballs. And the reason why you want to hit these ones is because inside of it, it is, it could be, Oh, the brand new Solosis and potentially shiny Solosis. Make 10 curveball throws, which is what we got, can either give Solosis, Slowpoke, or a Why Not. There's, or I'm sorry, Wobbuffet, not Why Not, Wobbuffet. Catch five Psychic Pokemon, either gives you an encounter with Solosis, which could be shiny, or it gives Pokeballs, Great Balls, or Ultra Balls. Make an excellent curveball throw, gives either Inkay, Kadabra, or Matang. That's a really good one. And then spin five Pokestops or Gyms, gives you either Solosis, Stardust, or Pineapp Berries. Now we got the field research out of the way, and we'll keep working on that, and something else we're working on, actually, are these, the seven kilometer eggs, because inside of them, we do have some special hatches, including Why Not, Chingling, Smoochum, and Solosis. All of these Pokemon can be shiny except for Chingling, and apparently Solosis hatched out of the seven kilometer eggs has a higher shiny rate than the other ones. It means the shiny is boosted for Solosis, but whenever there's a shiny boosted in the seven kilometer eggs, we hatch a bunch of eggs, we never get the shiny, so be careful with that. But I do have a batch incubating, and we will hatch those later in the video, so stay tuned to see if we can get that brand new shiny Solosis from them. And that's not all with this event, or with the research. Okay, just took down a Shadow Pineco raid. I think this could be a sh Shadow Shiny. But I wanted to show something. There's a bonus happening during this specific event that's honestly a really great bonus. Let's encounter this Shiny? No. I think it could be whatever. Well, right now in Pokemon Go, if you throw and hit a Pokemon with a curveball, you'll always get an extra 10 bonus XP for using a curveball to catch it. Well, during this event, curveballs are rewarded extra and you get instead of 10 XP, as you can see, it's 250 XP every time you catch a Pokemon using a curveball. This is huge, especially if you're looking to gain XP, level up, and maybe get to 40, 50, and beyond in Pokemon Go. Currently, my lifetime XP is at 343 million, so almost at 350, Gonna do a lot of curveballs this week. Okay, and what about this? The research, because we've got a lot here and some even more important stuff down here. Okay, it's time to hatch the seven kilometer eggs and hopefully get ourselves the brand new shiny Solosis, which again, apparently has boosted shiny rates 
from these eggs, but every time that Pokemon Go has said that, they have, well, they, maybe they haven't fully lied, but like, I mean, you know, they lied a little bit. They were fibbing. But I have seen a couple of people who do have shiny Solosis, so we know that it exists, and it looks like it's hatching at a pretty decent rate out of these seven kilometers. So as long as we can still get some hatches and my camera doesn't fall, we might see the shiny today. That's a big mite though, it's a big mite. God! And that might be all she wrote there. Okay, that is for hatch batch number one. We might have more eggs later on, and right now we should get comfortable. Wait, what is this? It's uh Hound hour. No. Right now we should get comfortable and sit down because we've got all of this. My camera's falling. Oh my god. Okay, this is where it happens. This is where we can do it. We've got all of the research from the Psychic Spectacular. Wait, one second. Oh god. Five kilometer egg? Okay. Hold on, this means I- wait, I need one more. Seven. Let me give you a big warning. Do not do unknown raids in Pokemon Go right now. As part of this event, there are three different unknown in the tier one raids, but none of them can be shiny. I've got none of my nearby to show you. Typically when unknown is in the one star raids, it could be shiny and it was just able to be shiny during part of some of the, like the Go Fest events. But right now, for whatever reason, they brought unknown back into the raids it can't be shiny. So please do not waste your money doing unknown raids thinking you might be able to get a shiny because it's not shiny eligible. I hate when they do this. But I love when they give us a ton of free encounters right here and all we had to do was hit curveballs and the most important research is down below. But first, let's complete this and see if we can get ourselves I think this is all Solosis encounters. A shiny Solosis. No. Final encounter here, which gives us a 30 Pokeballs and an incubator. Beautiful, we take that, we take that. Come on, Solosis. Oh. Now, that's not all. We also have these Marvelous Minds challenges right here, which are really, really important. Because these give you 100 free Mega Energy for, honestly, some great Mega Pokemon. Like Mega Metacham, which we need to evolve to. Oh, or do we need a Mega Evolve to Mega Meta? No, we should just be able to do this. This should count, right? Boom. Done. Collection challenge complete. Yes! Well, Mega Metacham, although it's not a super meta-relevant Mega Pokemon, it's still a Mega, which means if you get it to max level, you can use Mega Metacham while it's Mega Evolve to go out and catch a bunch of fighting type Pokemon and get a ton of extra candy and XL candy. It's an awesome bonus. It's one of the most meta relevant ways to play Pokemon Go using your Megas. Now, what about Mega Gardevoir? Well, let's evolve our routes. That box is checked and then we have to evolve it one more time. That box is checked, which is beautiful. So collection challenge complete. Mega Gardevoir is actually a top five psychic type overall in Pokemon Go. It's a really, really useful psychic type. So it's really, really good mega energy to get. And again, you get it free right now. Now, what about Slowbro? Oh, we have to catch a, we have to catch a Galarian slow bro no way oh well um i don't i don't really know where to go find one of those but i can evolve this which is nice because at least we can check this box off the list but mega slow bro also not super duper meta relevant but it is helpful because it is a dual water and psychic type mega meaning getting it to max level will give you the ability to boost candy and xl candy collection for both water and psychic type two different typings really really useful stuff okay so i need to find a galarian Slowpoke somewhere spawned around here so we'll get that but we can get this and this is the best one. Also, I have like a random shiny 2020 Abra. Let's evolve this. And there's the check off of the collection challenge, and then we can evolve this over to a shiny Alakazam, which is definitely something that you want to do because Mega Alakazam is actually a freaking beast in Pokemon Go, and this is easily the most valuable Mega Energy that you'll get during this event. As you can see, we've got, here we go, 1,000 Stardust, 1,000 XP, and 100 Mega Alakazam Energy, and Mega Alakazam is currently the number one overall Psychic-type Mega in Pokemon Go. I can't claim this reward. I'll never get it, no. And it's the number two overall Psychic-type in the game, underneath Shadow Mewtwo, who is just kind of the god. Super meta-relevant, super cool Mega, and I, I should get my, I got my energy, so done. Now we just need a Galarian slow poke. I got a bunch of eggs. Shiny Solosis? Ooh, I'm actually doing a route thing right now, and check this out on the incense. We got our Galarian Slowpoke, so I can catch that. Boom, got him, and that's gonna complete the collection challenge, which means we can pop into here, claim the reward, and get our 100 Mega Slowbro free energy which is fantastic. Okay, so no new shiny caught, but we do have one coming and a bunch of information for October's updates in Pokemon Go that I wanna go over. For starters, in the month of October, the five-star raid boss is to expect. We've got Raikou, Entei, and Suicune from September 23rd to October 6th, all of which can be shiny. Then we've got October 6th, to October 20th, a brand new shiny Ultra Beast, Shiny Guzzlord, which looks honestly fantastic. Then Darkrai from October 20th to November 3rd. The Mega Raids will have Mega Gardevoir from September 16th to October 6th, Mega Gengar from October 6th to October 20th, and Mega Bayonet from October 20th through November 3rd. Also, Shadow Moltres will be in the Shadow Legendary Raids during the month of October, but the thing that Pokemon Go shared shows Shadow Moltres not having its shiny available 
which is odd because Shadow Shiny Articuno and Zapdos were released over the past two months. So naturally, Shadow Shiny Articuno would, or uh, Moltres, sorry, would come out in October. So hopefully it was a typo on their end. Wouldn't be surprised. And then the raid hours include Raikou, Entei, and Suicune on October 4th, Guzzlord on October 11th and 18th, and Darkrai on October 25th. Then we've got the spotlight hours, which will be Slowpoke on October 3rd for two times candy for transferring, Shroomish on October 10th for two times XP for evolving, Pumpkaboo on October 17th with two times catch Stardust, Phantump on October 24th with two times catch XP, and Yamask on October 31st with two times candy for catching Pokemon. Then the events for the month of October will be the out to play event from September 27th to October 2nd, a secret event from October 5th through 9th, Go Battle Weekend October 7th and 8th, the Harvest Festival October 12th through 17th, Community Day on October 15th, Incense Day on October 21st, and then the Halloween event is happening from October 19th through the 26th, part one, and part two will be October 26th through the 31st. Can't wait for that. And that's what to expect in October, and that's the Psychic Spectacular event grind. I'm gonna keep trying to hatch eggs and catch Pokemon on the Go Plus. We'll see if we get the new shiny. Either way, thank you for watching.